Welcome back, students. Today is the final day of the Your Voice is Power learning experience. Today will be your opportunity to use Your Voice is Power. You will code a song in EarSketch remixing stems from Pharrell song Entrepreneur that uses your voice or includes a message to promote equity. At the end of today, you will submit your song for the final competition, or at least to your teacher so you can get a grade. To get started today, we will do a final lyric analysis. The final verse of Entrepreneur is a call to action. Read over these lyrics at the end of the third verse of the song. How do they inspire you to take action? What is Pharrell's final message of the song? How did he accomplish this message? Think about the Outcast Imagination rubric and how it helps you understand the purpose of the song. I'm going to ask you to go to your assignment document and try to craft a sentence or two that explains the purpose or message of the entrepreneur. Try to include vocabulary used in the OI rubric. Remember, OI is Outcast Imagination. Let's watch Dr. Wilson conclude the analysis of the song Entrepreneur. Think about how she analyzed the song from the lens of the OI rubric. How has this helped you to understand the lyrics of the, of the entrepreneur? You heard Pharrell's call to action. Now it is time to create your own. For your final challenge, you will code a song in EarSketch remixing stems from Pharrell's song Entrepreneur that uses your voice or includes a message. Watch this message from the Your Voice is Power team and start thinking about how you will rise to the challenge. Now it is time to build on the message of Entrepreneur to make your own voice heard. In the words of Pharrell, you got to let go, let go. We are going to break into collaborative online spaces to reflect upon your learnings during this experience. You will focus on sharing learnings in each key category, awareness, analysis, and action. So in your answer document, you will see some guiding questions. Read these and respond to them in your group. You have 10 minutes to reflect on these three categories of learning. Awareness analysis, and action. Awareness. What new or evolved understandings of racial injustice have you gained during this experience? What were you not aware of before this experience? What evidence of the existence of racial inequity most compels you to want to promote and advance racial justice? Analysis. To what extent do you feel that you work to promote racial equity? Are there positive things you do already to advance racial justice? If so, what are they? And what are new or different things you can do moving forward to further promote and advance racial equity? If promoting and standing for racial equity is new for you, what is a growth area for you? What is something you'd like to begin doing and why? And what ways do you see racial injustice take place in your school, neighborhood, city, state, or our country? Action. As you make a commitment to address racial inequity, what do you believe will be hard? Who can help or support you? Are there others engaged in work you'd be interested in joining or partnering with? Who did you learn about this week that inspires you to take action and why? As you take action, what difference or change do you believe it will make? How will you use your voice and actions to fight as a member of a marginalized group or as an ally? How can or will you encourage others to promote equity as well? Now we're going to go to our discussion board and give you a chance to write down some of your thoughts from these questions. Look at your class's collaborative space and your individual thoughts. How can you integrate these learnings into your code and music? Remember how we learned about comments on day one? You learn that comments can help the programmer explain the message or purpose of the code. Now it is time to apply this learning. You're going to open your voice's power script and look at your code and listen to your music. Then you're going to start commenting your song. You can start at the top and comment out different sections of your song that reveal awareness, analysis, or action. So if it happens to be in your intro or your chorus or your verse, where might you be able to make a comment that this is about awareness or analysis or action? 
you're going to come out comment out sections that you may want to include your voice or the voice of your community so if there's something that where you're you have some words that are speaking and um, they are uh, giving your voice to your message you can make a comment about that comment on your targeted audience and what awareness they need to understand and, and what awareness they need to understand your song you can also include the print function to print the purpose of the song in your console so up near the top where you have your author you can include another comment with the audience You're going to comment your role. Are you an ally, an activist? Is it yourself? And you're going to comment your attributions. Make sure you give credit to the artist of the sound clips you used in your song. Okay, so if you remember who you used, as long as you used everything from the library, you're pretty good. But if you can remember specifically um, where you got your clips, you can add a comment about that as well. Remember, you can write comments anywhere in your script, but they must be preceded by the hashtag. These comments will help to structure your song and communicate your voice as a coder and a programmer. So you're going to go in, if you have most of your music done, you can go in and start adding comments. You can also go in and add more music as you're adding the comments. Now it is time to complete your song. Layer your sounds, add more tracks, set a new tempo, and keep on commenting. Fly and take that leap. Push your boundaries in coding and speak from your heart. Code that winning song. You'll have some time now to finish building your song. If you need a review on any of the Year Sketch topics, use the curriculum book icon in the left side menu, or it's on the right side, to review selected topics. Before I send you off, I want you to know that EarSketch has many other coding capabilities. You may want to upload vocals and add effects, make custom beats, or loop their sounds. You can use the table below, and it's in your assignment document, to um, have added resources or learn extra things if you have a little bit of time. And as you're getting near to finishing your song, I want to say congratulations. It is time to risk it all and share your song with EarSketch, Amazon Future Engineer, Pharrell, and your Yellow Foundation. And with me, your teacher. Along with coding your song, hopefully you learned important lessons in social justice, music, computer science, and entrepreneurship. Your song will be the first step in sharing those learnings with others. Before you officially submit your song, you need to do one last review. Part one of your review is debugging your code, and part two will be reviewing the competition rubric. Debugging is the process of finding and fixing bugs, errors made by the programmer. You need to debug your code before submitting to make sure it runs the way you intend. You can write debugging in your assignment. There's a place for you to write it down. Then review the steps to debugging your code. So there's the debugging that you have in your assignment. Then you're going to review the steps to debugging your code. You run it, check to see if there are errors. If there aren't any errors, you're ready to move on. If there are errors, then look at the next steps. You can look at the console for clues, look at the error in your code, print debugging. Using a print statement can help you. Um, check for syntax errors, and finally just ask for help. I can help you uh, fix pretty much any of your errors. Then uh, you can look through the rubric to see that you meet the requirements for competition. Now any song that you have will be acceptable for a grade, but if you're interested in entering the contest, then make sure you go through the rubric and that you can check all the boxes. And then finally, you are going to share your code with me, the teacher. We will worry about submitting on another day. And when I record the coding part to guide you through the commenting section, I'll talk to you about how to share. So once again, I just want to say thank you. There is not um, an exit ticket for this one. It's simply giving, sharing your code with me and doing the reflection in your answer document. So congratulations, you did an awesome job implementing your voice's power and give yourself a round of applause.